American Latino TV, where we celebrate American Latino pride. I'm your host, Valerie Ortiz. Here at American Latino, we'd like to think that shows like ours are at their best when they're able to tell other people's stories in a unique way that resonates with all cultures. Today's show features people who have taken matters into their own hands by opening up about their own stories. From the queen of pop and espanol turned best-selling author, to an award-winning journalist we're honored to call a peer and competitor. And later... Beautiful and wonderful, incredible and vibrant. He left the record companies to maintain his independent voice. And Frankie J has been singing an entirely new tune. The way you love is powerful and physically excites me. But first, let's start with someone who isn't afraid to be an open book. Literally. She's one of the most internationally recognized Latinas in music and has a body of work that speaks for itself. She may have settled down with hubby and record mogul Tommy Motola, but she certainly hasn't settled for less in anything she releases. It's no surprise that fans the world over couldn't wait to get their hands on her tell-all memoir, Growing Stronger. Most people doing exactly what you want is sometimes only a pipe dream. For international superstar Thalia, it's a way of life. Whether she's making a bold fashion statement or cranking out another hit, Thalia has never compromised who she was. I do what I, you know, what I feel like. And it's not something fake or something that they tell me to do. I mean, you know, something that you have to dress this way in order to hit million viewers. No, I don't do that. I just do whatever I feel that I like. I do this because of my passion for the music or acting. <laughs> Her independent spirit and trend-setting fashions made her a great fit for one of Latin America's most popular bubblegum groups, Timbiriche. But the untold teen pop band's stories remained a mystery for years. That is, until now. It was really tough because I went into the Lugar de Sasha and she was like, whoa, like, you know, all the girls loved her, the best friends and everything. And suddenly it just came the, the new little girl, like, whoa. On top of that, all this fame and all this success and uh, all this power for these little teenagers. We did crazy stuff with that power. After a successful run as an icon of teenage pop hysteria, Thalia embarked on a solo career that catapulted her into becoming Mexico's number one female export as a cultural icon and international superstar. The mariachi with the, with the pop music, it was something that you could not mix and, and it was like first time that, that we did that experiment and people loved it. And wherever I go is like, Talia Mexicana, eh, La Reina Azteca, and they, they just call me like these names and it's just so amazing, I feel so proud of my roots. The Mexicana has finally taken a break from the spotlight to write her highly anticipated memoir, Growing Stronger, bringing an end to the perpetual myths concerning her career and shedding some light on her private life. This one is totally like my story. I think you have to be ready, being in a, in a moment in your life where you're like standing very solid in your life, you feel like comfortable in your own skin. And seriously, it takes time to grow stronger every day. And it's not easy just to open up your life and just to share it. This book helped me with that kind of phobia, if you call it that way of just being more open and more relaxed about everything. A 
and getting ready to go into the studio. The, the songs are, are incredible. Uh, the producer is working on them and maybe for, for summer next year they're going to be out, so be prepared. I have a lot of things, a lot of plans. I'm so excited.